All right, we're working in intermediate algebra. This is section 3.1. The topic is polynomials. If you're following along in your book, this starts on page 97. All right, this first section is basically just a review of some of the vocabulary. So we're going to work with this polynomial that's right on this page. It says 9x to the 8th plus 8x to the 7 minus x squared plus 2x minus 7. And the first vocabulary term we're going to talk about is the word terms. Uh, the terms are the pieces of the polynomial um, in which well, this is our polynomial. The terms are the pieces of the polynomial that have uh, coefficients, variables, exponents. The terms are separated by plus and minus signs. So if you make vertical lines every place you see a plus and minus sign, you will be separating the terms. Um, this polynomial has one two, three, four, five terms. So I'm just going to do this and we're going to say this is five terms based on if I separate the terms with plus and minus signs. Uh, now the sign that is in front of the coefficient goes with that term so this sign goes with this term, this sign goes with this term, this sign goes with this term. Uh, the next vocabulary word we're going to talk about is coefficients, which I just used when I was talking about terms. The coefficients are the numbers that are at the front of each term. So the coefficient of this term is 9. The coefficient of the second term is 8. The coefficient of the third term is hard to see because there's an invisible 1 here, but this is a negative 1. So the coefficient of this third term is negative 1. The coefficient of this fourth term is 2, and the coefficient of this last term is negative 7. All right, example 1. Let's scroll this up a little bit. Example 1 gives us a new polynomial. It says negative 11x cubed plus 12x squared plus one half x and ask us to identify the terms and the coefficients. So we'll identify the terms first. In other words, we're just going to list the terms. And again, if you use the vertical lines, there are three terms here. The first term is negative 11 x cubed. The second term is 12 x squared. And the third term is one half x. The coefficients, I'm just going to use that as an abbreviation for coefficient. And the coefficients are the numbers that are at the front of each term. So the coefficient of the first term is negative 11. The coefficient of the second term is 12. And the coefficient of the third term is 1 half. At the top of page 98, we have a couple new <coughs> vocabulary terms. And the first one is degree. Um, sometimes degree is a little bit difficult to understand. but the degree of each polynomial is based on the degree of each term. So each term has a degree, um, and then the polynomial takes the highest one of the terms. So I'm going to list this polynomial for you again. It's 9x to the 8 plus 8x to the 7 minus x squared plus 2x minus 7. Um, and we're going to separate the terms again, just like this. Okay, the degree of each term is the sum of the exponents on the variables. So this has a degree of 8, this term has a degree of 7, this one's 2, this one's 1, and here at the end there are no variables, so their exponents add up to 0. The degree, uh, this is the degree of the terms. The degree of the polynomial is the highest one 
of each of these degrees of these terms. And so since this is the highest one, <coughs> the degree of this polynomial is 8. Um, the next vocabulary word or term we're going to talk about is uh, classifications. So in classifications there are three terms, monomial, binomial, and trinomial. And these are classifications for each type of polynomial. A monomial is a polynomial with one term. A binomial is a polynomial with two terms. And a trinomial, of course, is a polynomial with three terms. Any polynomial that has four or more terms, we just say that's a four-term polynomial or a five-term polynomial or so on. All right, example two gives us the polynomial negative 11x cubed plus 12x squared plus 1 half x and is asking us the degree and to classify. So let's, uh, let's go with degree first. And don't forget, each term has its own degree and then the polynomial will take the highest one. So to find the degree, we add the exponents on the variables. So this is a degree of 3, this term has a degree of 2, and this term has a degree of 1. Do not forget, this exponent is not 0. If there's no exponent shown, it's a 1, not a 0. And then the degree of this polynomial is the highest of the degrees of the term. So you look after you find the degree of each term, you look through them, and you choose the highest one. The degree of this polynomial is 3. And the classification is based on how many terms there are. So how many terms are in this polynomial? 1, 2, 3. So the classification of this is trinomial. A polynomial with three terms is called a trinomial. At the bottom of this page, there is one more vocabulary, which is descending order. Descending order refers to the order of the terms when we list or when we write out a polynomial. And we're going to look at this polynomial. 8x squared plus 5x to the fourth minus 7x to the fifth plus x3. This is not in descending order. Descending order is ordering the term with the highest degree at the front down to the term with the lowest degree. And if we look at these degrees, remember the degree is the sum of the exponents on the terms. This is degree 2 degree 4, degree 5, degree 3. The highest one is this one. So if we put these in descending order, we would reorder this as negative 7x to the fifth, and that would be this term first. Uh, the next term with the highest degree would be this one with a degree of 4. So that term would go next. So this would be plus 5x to the fourth, and then plus x cubed is the third degree, plus 8 x squared would be the last term. So these are ordered th now in descending order from the highest degree down to the lowest degree. This is descending order. All right, at the top of page 99, we have the vocabulary of leading term and leading coefficient. Um, and these terms, this vocabulary, just refers to uh, the term and the coefficient that hide the highest degree and therefore are at the front of the polynomial when the polynomial is in descending order. So if I write this polynomial, 9x to the 8th plus 8x to the 7 minus x squared plus 2x minus 7 to identify the leading term 
and the leading coefficient, I first look at these degrees. Is this in descending order? Well, this is degree 8, 7, 2, 1, 0. So it is in descending order. So the leading term is at the front. The leading term is the term with the highest degree, 9x to the 8. And the leading coefficient is the coefficient of that term. So for example 3, I have the polynomial, let's see, what does it say? Negative 5 thirds plus 5x to the fourth plus x cubed plus one-half x to the fifth. I'm being asked to identify or to write this polynomial in descending order and give the leading term and leading coefficient. So first of all, maybe it's already in descending order. Let's look at degrees. Well, this is a degree zero since there's no variables. This is degree four, degree three, and degree five. So it is not in descending order. So that's our first job. Let's put this in descending order. So let's descending order. Um, the, deg the term with the highest degree would be this one-half x to the fifth. So that term will go first. One-half x to the fifth. Um, next will be five x to the fourth plus x cubed. And the last term will be minus five-thirds. So that would be in descending order now based on their degree. This is degree five, four, three, and this is degree zero. So the leading term will be the term at the front, one-half x to the fifth, and the leading coefficient will be the coefficient on that term, which is one-half.